The life of a soap shoe pro in the 90s was as ridiculous as you'd think by Riley Jones, contributing writer specializing in sneakers at RCHRSTPHR. August 31, 2015 Remember Soap Shoes The concave equit kicks, which were hot for a brief period in the late 90s, emulated the feel and fun of inline skating without the wheels. Now, one of the brand's former pro riders, Ryan Johnson, is, is spilling the soap scene's secrets in a new interview with Vice. According to Johnson, is, being a pro soaper was essentially a non-stop party, especially as a 17-year-old kid bringing in $1,000 per day. It was amazing. There was a lot of house parties back then. That was a time when hip-hop music was in its prime. My video was playing in stores in Pacific Sunwar and Journeys all over the country. It was super cool, John Zemis said. These days, he earns his key by working as a pro pickup artist in Las Vegas, but John Zemis says he's had away with the ladies long before the days of social media. I would take all the soap stickers and I would write my phone number on the back. And then I'd hand them out to the girls, John Zemis said. We'd have a whole ice chest full of beer, and then we were like, okay, the party's in room whatever, and there'd be all these little soap groupies there like, oh my god, that's so cool, your shoes are so awesome point. And the exploits don't end there. During a period when rave culture was at an all-time high, John Zimis remembers using the hidden plate on the sole of soap shoes to sneak drugs like ecstasy into nightclubs. Girls would be like, oh, how do you sneak this in? And we were like, these are soap shoes, and they're like, ah, this is so cool exclamation point. Unfortunately for John Zimis, his career in soaping came to an end after an ill-fated email in which he vented his frustrations with the company was accidentally sent to his co-workers. Still, he has fond memories of the shoes which he says offered more accessibility than rollerblading and skateboarding. I can wear soaps, and I can grind on the sinks inside the men's restroom. I can slide across the marble sinks, and stuff like that. I grinded on one of the slot machines over there, that was kind of fun. And they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, nothing, I just rank too much point. Tags, news, 90s fashion, sneaker news, sneaker culture, 90s promoted links complex media incorporated. All rights reserved http colon double slash www dot complex dot com slash sneakers slash two zero one five slash zero eight slash soap dash shoes dash Ryan dash John Zimis dash interview.